the crown of his helmet hit me in between my shoulder pad and my helmet, like where my neck is. I tore a couple of nerves in there. My arm will never be the same again. Like basically, I, I have paralysis. Good to go? We are good to go, sir. Slating. Hey, Jay, I appreciate you joining me and telling me your story. So what was it like when they told you you couldn't play anymore? Honestly, that was like probably the lowest point. Like, I was still in the brace, and I was expecting to hear some good news, like, oh, yeah, you just pinched a nerve or something. Like, you're on your, like, now you can probably start slowly working back into it. I was expecting to hear something like that. But when I heard that, that was, that was probably my lowest, like, I couldn't put my shirt on, bro. Like, my arm would hang. How would I be able to provide for myself and like a future family or something, you know? Yeah. You know how you just flash to the future and you're thinking like, man, I might not even be able to hold my kid because my arm's messed up. Jay, so what would you say was your turning point in the, in the whole process? I just felt like when I did get hurt and I did get the news, I just started digging deep. I started thinking about uh, what I really wanted to do, who I truly am, you know what I mean? I had to through that process, that became like the rebound or the bound, the comeback. You know? So like, what are some of the things you did like, you know, through your rehab process? I would do more than what the doctors asked basically. I remember I couldn't even do push-ups, bro. Like I couldn't even do like 10 push-ups on both arms. Now I can do like 50 if I just sat here and bust them out. And since this is like a part of my life, like anytime you get a nerve, injury, like this is, this is life. Yeah. You you gotta keep working it, you know what I mean? It, Cause it's gonna take years to get better. Your progress, <clears throat> all that work you put in like the first two, three years, you might not see till, till like five, six, seven years down the line. You know what I mean? Basically rehab never ends though. It never ends, it's a, it's a lifelong process. At least from what I know right now. <laughs> Unless tomorrow I'll wake up, my, my stuff good. <laughs> yeah, I hope we both be like that. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like, what made you, like, say, man, like, I know I can't play no football no more, but I still got to get it? If I couldn't go forward, I probably wouldn't have been able to see a future for myself, but I still did. That was the thing. It was just like, okay, since I can't get it this way, I got to get it a different way, yeah. you know, somehow. So I know you said that you're working for a startup right now, but what do you feel you most excited about for the future? Continue on the path I'm on now. like continue learning and honing like my skill sets with like learning about like investments and stuff mm -hmm. um, and just grow, moving up in the, in the workforce. Regardless of what happens moving forward, I know I'm gonna make it through the situation stronger. I'm gonna be able to impact someone's life on top of this. The thing is like with these, with these different injuries, you know, it really makes you think about the person you are. It really makes you think about the life you live in there. That's the best way to put it. You know, I had to reevaluate myself, you know? Because, you know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with football or sports, but it's just like when you're younger, you know, all your mind is set on that. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you know, after you go deal with the injury, now you have to reevaluate, like, hey, am I, if I'm, am I moving in the right direction? Is, is my life going where I wanted to go? That's real. Like, what would you tell somebody that's going through the same thing that you're going through? Just keep your head up, you know? You, you'll shock yourself um, when you get those, those daily wins. It might be small or like very minute, but hey, it's a win. Jay, I wanna thank you for being part of the 50 Phenoms. Um, I really enjoy listening to your story and I really think it's gonna help out a lot of people, man. I'm glad that we were able to talk about it, bro. Definitely, man, yeah. I appreciate it. No problem.